Anyway, I've never arrived at the, the vintage tractors. Here we have a David Brown 900, followed by another David Brown 950, emblematic there. And a David Brown, again, what well, must be the, the David Brown show here. So that's a, quite an unusual sight, although I have filmed these David Browns before. David Brown 850 emblematic there. And another David Brown 880 emblematic. I'll just go to the other side and see what this one is. Obviously a different colour. I'm not sure what it is. The David Brown, but what it is, I'm not so sure. Another David Brown, eight, select the Matic 880 there. That's all the David Browns down there. And a David Brown case 996 at the end here. Anyway, here we have the Nuffield BM to BMC diesel and Nuffield on, so Robert tells me behind me there. So I'll just go down the stand here, all of our standard 80 with a Dumfries registration there. Uh, that's probably a David Brown, something or other. So it's quite nice to see these heading round the parade in the afternoon once uh, the prize given has been given out, usually these guys go round there's uh, quite a, a bit of reek around well, Here we have the wee Massey Ferguson here or Ferguson 35 rather probably wouldn't be a Massey, just a Ferguson So that was a sack lifter, 12 stone bags you used to put in your back, carry them up uh, the loft stairs, then, <laughs> then you'd chuck them back down, which didn't seem right in some ways or other. Uh, here we have the, the David Brown crop master. And a crop master diesel in front here. Anyway, just been talking to the owner of the tractor here, expect. So all the details are here, that it was made at Banner Lane, Coventry there, on the 4th of March 1957. It was one of 194 tractors made that day. It's a 30.5 horsepower petrol paraffin tractor. So it's, well it's a four cylinder there. The gold engine. So here we have details of the the trailer, a lighter duty trailer than the three ton model and much less commonly ad adopted. The automatic hitch is used to couple the tractor and trailer. So I'll let you read the rest, I'll just hold it on there for a couple of seconds. Uh, it's got the, the pickup hitch, probably an early pickup hitch there, and uh, hydraulic tipping. Now this tractor was manufactured in 1948 by the Standard Motor Company Banner Lane, Coventry. It was one of 214 tractors built on Monday the 21st of June 1948. It is fitted with a 23.9 horsepower petrol engine made by the Standard Motor Company. It has four gears forward and one reverse gear and three point linkage with draft control. It has been fully restored by John Thompson, Kergunyan, Dumfries. This tractor was supplied new by Tweedy's Motors of Dumfries on the 30th of June 1948 to Mr. Patterson, South Craig's Farm, Waterbeck, Lockerbie. The cost when it was new 
1948 was 325 pounds. So I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. It's called a sack lifter. I'll just tell you more about it. The sack lifter is commonly thought of to be Ferguson design. It was manufactured by E.O. Kerberwell of Lewis in Sussex in the early 1950s. The platform which the sack sits on is parallel to the ground and then when lifted stays level to a height of 4 feet 1.2 meters. When the sack lifter was being used in the 50s, the sack of grain would weigh 10 stone 64 kilograms. Today, the average sack is 20. Point 20 25 kilograms. So, a sack lifter like this made but lifting of the sacks onto a lorry or a trailer much lighter work. So, there we are. Now, here we have from Fleece Transport Preservation Group www.dtgagroup.co.uk. So, here we have a Thomas McBride Albion. Cross Michael livestock remover Castleglis and one at the other side this F Davison contractor Iron Grey who is still in operation runs quite a big fleet of lorries nowadays and I expect that's a little Riley Elf I actually filmed one on Sunday there when I was at Sunderland air show so there we go 